So I'm going to talk about Mundo. Dr. Mundo, the Madman of Zon. The first ability here is the Infected Cleaver. It's an aimed skill shot. It uh, does not pass over enemy minions. It uh, does damage equal to the portion of the target's maximum health, and it slows them. It's great for early game harassment and for chasing. Burning Agony is the second ability. It's a toggled ability. It does AoE damage around Mundo and reduces the duration of stuns and slows. Combined with Mercury Treads, it makes Dr. Mundo very difficult to stop or, or slow. Masochism's third ability increases his physical damage by a flat amount. The damage is increased the lower his health is. Later in the game, the cooldown will be so low that you will basically be able to keep this up most of the time. The fourth ability is Sadism. Dr. Muno sacrifices a portion of his own health. This gives him increased movement speed and significant health regeneration. This is a great ability for chasing, for getting away, for initiating fights. With this ability on, he's very difficult to kill unless you can burst him down. Dr. Mundo's passive is health regeneration based on his maximum health. This works well with him because all of his abilities take health to cast. He has no mana, so you can spam his abilities. Most of them have pretty short cooldowns. You'll be able to use them a lot. He's a very active character, and he's a lot of fun. I'm going to discuss some of the item choices that you could use on Mundo. I personally like to build him as a tank and get damage late in the game. So I'm going to go over here to health regen. I usually like to start out with something like a regrowth pendant to get uh, some health regen early to let me stay in the lane for a while. As this next item, I often like to get Leviathan. This is a snowball item which means uh, the more kills and assists you have the higher it stacks. With this item, it grants you initial health and then gives you more health per every stack. So it's a good item to get early so that later in the game it'll be giving you quite a bit of health. Another item I like to get is Force of Nature. Uh, this builds from Regrowth Pendant, so you'll be able to use that in it. Uh, as it says, it gives you a lot of magic resist and health regeneration and movement speed. This is great with Mundo, who is really fast already with his ultimate. Uh, the health regeneration also works with, well with his ultimate. Really, the magic resist is the main component of this item that I really like. If you're against a team that uses a lot of ability power abilities, a lot of magic damage, uh, then this is a great item to get. You'll become much harder for them to kill. Another earlier game item before Force of Nature is Spirit Visage here. It gives you some magic resist, some health regen, uh, and actually a significant amount of health regen. So that's a good item to get early as well. Now, if you're against more physical, a more physical team, Randuin's Omen is a good item. It gives you health, armor, health regen, and it's, it's active. It's really nice. It slows everybody in an AoE around you. It's a really good item to get if the other team has a lot of physical damage. Late in the game, after you've gotten a Force of Nature, if they have magic, or if you've gotten Random One's Omen, uh, if they have armor, you might want to pick up a Guardian Angel, which will give you even more armor and magic resistance, and it will let you come back to life. Personally, though, after I've gotten uh, the Leviathan, the Force of Nature, uh, or Random One's Omen, it really depends... Uh, usually you'll have to go mostly magic or mostly armor. Once I've gotten what I think is enough survivability, if I seem to be surviving okay in the in the fights, then I just go for um, an infinity edge to give myself some damage. Because as a tank, you don't want to be ignored. If the enemy team can just ignore you, then you're not doing your job. They'll just kill your team, you won't be able to do anything about it. So... Late in the game, I get damage so that they can't ignore me. If they ignore me, I'll kill them. So after you've gotten enough survivability, 
get damaged. I prefer getting the Infinity Edge. I hope I've given you some good ideas about what items to get and how to play Mundo. Of course, stay flexible, try out different builds, and adapt to the team you're playing. I'm going to go over some possible rune choices for Mundo. I'm currently using armor penetration marks, flat health seals, cooldown glyphs, and armor penetration quintessences. Other possibilities would be magic resist glyphs, dodge seals. I think armor penetration on uh, quintessences and marks are a good idea. You might have other ideas. Feel free to play around with them. At the start of the game, I like to get Cleaver first. It helps me last hit and harass right off the bat. I then get Masochism. Then I, then I uh, trade between Masochism and Cleaver on every level, uh, depending on which one I think I need more of. Burning Agony, I wait until I feel like I need to be able to push. So if at any point in the game, I need to be killing minion waves fairly quickly, that's when I go ahead and pick up at least one point of Burning Agony. Otherwise, max Cleaver and Masochism as fast as you can, getting your ult whenever it's available. In case you're not familiar with the term ult, it stands for ultimate, and I am referring to his R ability sadism when I say it. You see Vigor starting to fight. Morgana misses her skill shot, but ults on them doing some damage. I come in with using Ghost and Masochism. I take out Teemo, and I turn on Vigor. A combination of Cleaver and Masochism, I take them out as well. I go ahead and pop my ult here, because since it's got less than a minute cooldown, by the time that I get in any action again, uh, the, the skill will be ready to use again, so I might as well use it to get full health. You can see I'm also making liberal use of my abilities like Cleaver and Masochism to continue farming my minions. It just takes a little bit of health to cast them. They've got short cooldowns, so use them all you want. We're going to fire a skill shot. Rush to see if anybody there was there. He was. I hit him with Cleaver and Masochism. She hits him with his ult, and I finish him off with Cleaver. See the ping on the southern river? We go down and check it out. There's Poppy and Mundo. I hit my ult. I hit Poppy. I got a ult on him and gets a skill shot on Mundo. Poppy manages to just flash away before I get her, and then we finish off Mundo. I have about 50% of my health after the fight because of my ult. Here you see how quickly Burning Agony tears through these minions. Our allies are running towards middle from river, so I go down. We start chasing, I ult to catch up, I hit Mundo with Cleaver. He's getting away, I hit him again with Cleaver, slow him down. Catch up to him, and take him out. They chase Ezreal around that way, and I go around. Hit him with Cleaver, and I finish him off. Mundo hits Singed with his Cleaver, and decides he's going to chase after him. Looks like he ran into a lot of trouble. There's really not much I could have done here, because... Mundo will go where he pleases! And if you play Mundo, sometimes you'll just have to deal with that. An enemy has been slain. So I hope you've learned something from my Mundo video. Or at least were mildly entertained. Gave you a few ideas, hopefully. On how to do your runes, your item builds, and how to level up your skills during the game and just basic strategy and tactics for playing Mundo. 
also get out there and play Mundo because Mundo Smash. 